Mm -hmm. And uh, Puppe is getting, definitely having the better end of the exchange at the moment. It feels like Squirtle can really abuse Mewtwo's bad disadvantage state, but the second that Ivysaur comes out, Ivy just doesn't feel like he matches up particularly well unless Waddy's in disadvantage. Like in neutral, Mewtwo does everything that Ivysaur is trying to do, and he's got a reflector. Yeah, that's definitely uh, an accurate point. Um, I mean, you could argue maybe you just stay Squirtle. I don't know. <laughs> Granted, Squirtle does die fast, but... Uh, or just switch to Charizard, get two hits, and yeah, be like, yeah, I'm good. What yeah. of it? This is really reminiscent of what happened in the set before, is that Waddy would be winning, Charizard would come out and say, I don't care about your lead, your stock is gone. Oh, and yeah. it was just so consistent. That's like, this is clearly Puppy's best character, I think, of the trainers, and he is such a bully. His play style fits Zard so well. He plays with tons of confidence, and uh, every now and then, confidence is all you need if you can get the read. Yeah. Absolutely correct. Up throw is going to do it. I mean, it took a bit of damage and a bit of time to get it done, but you got it done, and that's what matters. And you're only 20%. It could have been a lot worse. Buffy trying to use those spot dodges to get out of disadvantage, but instead boxes his way in with the forward air. Like Squirtle's forward air matches up just so well against Zard. It's a lot quicker than a lot of his options, and he's because he's, he can low profile a lot of tools like Shadow Claw, you can kind of use it as like a counter punching tool. But Ivysaur, again, just having a ton of trouble landing, finally gets down, can you get anything going? The up air, and then the up B barely clipping Mewtwo's tail with both of those hits. Talk about the accuracy of Pup A. No one could see anything, but Pup A clearly knew exactly where Waddy was. Okay, check. Why are you trying to make the disable work? And Pup A is like, I don't know if you've heard, but my R button works quite well. <laughs> Gets the confusion on the platform, though, and then just waits for Pup A. Pup A tried to land with an aggressive nair to get a string go, and Wadi having none of it. Yeah, I really like that by Wadi because there was a lot of drift as well, and just making sure uh, he stayed right outside the range of Pup A so that he could punish that accordingly. Ivysaur is online. I mean, you know, Ivysaur definitely paying the tax right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it feels like Squirtle goes ahead and gets 40%, and then Ivysaur gets juggled for 50%. And then Charizard says, I kill you at 10. <laughs> exactly. It doesn't really matter. Oh, look at this. This could be huge. Down throw Shadow Claw, though. That seems to, like, that seems to combo a lot easier on this big body. Oh, oh my god. Smash. How dare you jump at me? That was so perfect for Puppy. He was even turned away, and the hitbox starts behind Zard. So really, Mewtwo in a, an incredibly awkward spot. Wadi choosing to jump in with that Shadow Claw and gets punished in the hardest way possible. Definitely. Now, um, uh, what was something you mentioned? It definitely, huh? It might come back to me. It's past 12. <laughs> it's not my fault at this point. <laughs> yeah, we're running a little bit late tonight, but I mean, you can't go ahead and complain about extra free Smash because just about all of our sets are going to Game 3 or Game 5. When these two fought in uh, Winners, were they Game 5? I believe so, if I'm not mm -hmm. mistaken. It was a heck of a set. I know Wadi came back the loser, but he came back into the crowd. Actually, saying, that was been a heck of a set. It might have been 3-1. Someone in the chat let us know. Was it 3-1 or was it uh, Game 5 between Puppe and uh, Wadi earlier? All right, Ivysaur making it work right now. Neutral air into forward air. Actually clips the tether with Razor Lee. Very nearly finished that stock with Puppe right there. Very aggressive. Okay, I'm liking the positioning from Wadi. It's just, unfortunately, you, your positioning doesn't matter if you're just dying so much earlier than Charizard. You really got to find some of the killing blows. I can definitely agree with that. It feels like whenever... Like, Wadi has a 20 or 30 percentage point lead. It doesn't really matter because he's, he's very likely to die at 60 in this matchup. Yeah, apparently it was game five. So there's been a lot of smash action today. Wadi doing a very good job to dodge that grab. Uh, tons of throws should finish it off right now. That jab very nearly finishing off the top. Wadi kind of put on notice that he cannot afford any hit. Squirtle trying for an up air not working out. At 93%, this is a very risky proposition. This Mewtwo up throw may very well threaten Squirtle. Back throw certainly should. And then, yeah, there we go. Back to the big boy. Yeah. I like the Shadow Ball backing up. I mean, you do have to worry about getting grabbed right now, as Puppe just tried to do. Which is also is such a terrifying position to be in. Wow, at the Shadow... Wow, okay. Switch. I don't know if that was a little bit early. Um, and... 
Pepe was trying to predict something or Wadi saw it, but it doesn't matter. Ivy Sword comes back and just shuts it down. I love Wadi chuckling a little bit about that, dude. He was doing so well avoiding Charizard's grab, and the second Ivy Sword comes off the Angel platform, he's got him. Squirtle back in the mix right now, trying to go ahead and get some of those early percentage combos, but he's having the same trouble that Ivy was in that. He's having a ton of difficulty landing. Neutral air as well as up air are just eating these Pokemon alive whenever they try to get down. Oh, please don't get down here. I felt it in my bones. Did not come through. And I mean, why is it doing a fantastic job right now? Great aggressive option by Puppy to get out of that confusion, though. Yeah, when you're when you're a little bit lower, a lot of people panic when they get hit by confusion. You can choose an aggressive option a lot of times. Yeah, if he's close to you, just take your closest and fastest aerial and just toss it right out. And you two typically in disadvantage in that spot. Woo, the up air going to do it. Unorthodox option, but definitely worked out well for Wadi. Can't complain about that tail hitbox. Not that time. Not that time. <laughs> Any other time. Okay, I don't know how that grab worked, but it did. Puppy just keeps flying at a disadvantage, and it works. He's like, I'll take the additional 20 damage from the throw combo instead of getting hit by Shadow Ball and taking yeah. 50. 51, put on the Squirtle. Squirtle not in jeopardy really of dying quite yet. Ivysaur, not even close to that. And it, it looks like Wadi is starting to kind of get some mojo, figuring out what needs to be done. He's calling out these switches so well, too. And a lot more patience. But, I mean, we are always just one back throw and two back airs away from a victory on Pepe's side. So he, Wadi has to stay very safe right here. This is an awkward spot. He finds himself in the corner so often that that kind of, like, lends itself to Pepe's explosive comeback potential. What? Up, that Puppies almost killed. Reads. This, this last 15 seconds have been ridiculous. He's clawed his way back. No down air? Oh, there's no shadow ball either. There's nothing to be afraid of except for maybe disable. F tilt going to do it, and Pup A moving up 2-0 over Wadi. That re-grab put Wadi in such an awkward spot. I feel like the only option he really had was to just see if Pape was actually going to do it, hit anything that would tap the edge or just take an aggressive up B and pray. I would have probably taken the get-up attack. Mm. Um, a lot of times when you re-grab, your opponent's first thought is do an attack. So if they're late and you can get the invincibility of your get-up attack, throw it out there, take that free 10 to 12% and get out of disadvantage. Good point, good point. Back onto small battlefield, though, getting started with a up-air combo string from Squirtle, and it is not over, just up-airing out of disadvantage for more percent. Water Gun's an interesting tool that we haven't really seen a lot of. Shadow Ball does go directly through it, but it can really mess with floaty characters like Mewtwo. We saw it a little bit right there, but not quite having too much of an effect, and now it's Ivy's turn to just guard Wadi's attempt to land. Yeah, and uh, Ivy doing a great job at it. 90 to 80. I mean, if you're Charizard, exactly where you want to be. Um, you have a lead and you have the kill power to back it up as well. Why not? But lands directly into that Shadow Ball. And then the Claw as well. That looks like that move is fresh. So we are just about at kill percent here. This is a re-grab. So Wadi can just charge this up and then toss it out. And great drop down by Pape. Wadi gets the roll in. That may not kill. No, it will. Just barely. Pape had the right DI. And that positioning from Wadi was immaculate. So um, that was the perfect spot to also grab a roll, which is just a fantastic position to be in. And <laughs> immediately going to the, the Zara with an aggressive dash attack. Paying for it a little bit here, but popping out of that neutral air, really fortunate for Pape. Can we see Dyer? We are a little too early. But uh, this should do it. I think a fourth, though. Oh, okay. I'll throw on the platform. I like the DI mix-up, yeah. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing with you, where fourth throw looked like that might have done it as well. But I guess Pape is like, look, man, I'm in Grant. Your feeble <laughs> brains couldn't imagine an up throw in this scenario. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Commentary, pee, no, pee brain. <laughs> <laughs> and a slight advantage for Wadi right now, but again, when you're this light, is it really that much of an advantage? It's always a question. It just feels like the advantage doesn't seem to matter whenever Ivy gets like two or three hits. Look, we're just about even now. And then Charizard's going to come out and kill you in two hits. Oh, he hit a button. Pape was hanging from ledge, but it looks like he tried to go ahead and come back aggressively. Wadi punishing that off aptly. Misses with the side B, and then an aggressive option by Pape. The forward here breaks him out of that. 
Yeah, because you're not at the 140, so well, Mewtwo's actually not plus in that scenario. I like to get up. Very aggressive by Puppe. He is just swinging in a... Please, I want it. Wadi. Wadi's <laughs> like, thank you. I got the opening. Immediately just using the side B to try to go ahead and get some space here, but no, we're on Zard. Oh my goodness. You're at 52. What a conversion. That was a between a mix between... A, oh, that was a jab reset. You could have seen so much more. You could have seen a disable, I think. Instead, 100%. A good lead by Wadi, but Pepe sneaks off that platform with the back air. Claims that stock, so this is it. We are probably not going to see a switch off of Zard unless Puppe is absolutely forced to do so. Right, Puppe is... Okay. Good tech in the nair? He's trying to nair down. He's just trying for all of the most wild conversions here. If Wadi ever double jumps at edge, I think he might be dead at 50. Okay, up throw. I don't think so. Yeah. Okay, he's got it. So Wadi not content to go down 3-0 here. He wants... To continue his run, Pape already knocked him into losers. This would be a heck of a comeback after a long tournament for Wadi. I'm not biased, but at 12-11, come on, Pape. <laughs> 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 no, I'm not you have to... We have to do what now? Excuse me? Yeah. Apparently, we're doing something related whoa, to Kazuya whoa, after whoa, this, whoa, which is news to yours truly. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we might be doing something after this. We are, however, content. Is about, to <laughs> <laughs> about to get your shine tonight. <laughs> about to have walk-up commentary. <laughs> All right. We are continuing this on here. <laughs> Game four in Wadi versus Pape. As our stream runner curses in our ear a little bit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Wadi right now definitely getting some magic going. Um. Great lead right here, already about 80% up. And this is the point where Zard cannot quite die from the 30-40%, and yet Mewtwo is already at that point. Great point-blank range Shadow Ball to get himself out of disadvantage, get him back to center stage. Does get the side beat into the Shadow Claw. It should be true at that percent on big bodies like Zard. Yep. And, I mean, this is the largest lead I think actually either player has had, believe yeah, it or not. They've both been playing this so close, so it's definitely a change in pace to see Wadi explode like this. The counter pick doesn't really seem to be doing Puppe a ton of good. He, he seems to see why he wants it. Small stage can't really allow Mewtwo to camp so much, but Wadi is thriving right now. Yeah, Wadi's like, this allows him to be just at the right range at all times. Mm -hmm. Charger coming down with that Nair does work into the dash attack. Are we going to see Flamethrower? No, goes off aggressively, gives up stage control, and I don't know if you're getting up for free, and apparently he kind of, sort of does. It looks like the uh, up B, excuse me, the Shadow up smash claimed with the neutral air, as I get it wrong twice in a row. <laughs> but Wadi ain't getting nothing wrong right there, as he is still on his first stock, and it is looking like he has changed up his play style in a way that Puppe has not quite adapted to. Down smash is going to clear off the first stock, but Puppe's got a lot of work to do. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. hello? Yeah. Finish it. Yeah, let's okay. go, Wadi. That was what beautiful. A conversion. Buffet was looking for a comeback right there, but Wadi just forces him off stage and gets the double dunk even after a double switch. And he needed every bit of that. Zard gets that extra jump and fly. I think he could have gotten back from that. Yeah, uh, I think so as well. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh,. That's an exclamation yeah. point to end that game. The sit down. Okay, I know you're in winter side of Grants, but sit down. And a long night of game fives continues as no player seems capable of opening their opponent up. We've seen like two heavyweight fighters going back and forth every single set, and the trend is not yet over. And you know what? I'm unplugging a controller after this. I don't care who wins, okay? <laughs> Tournament's over one way or another. We can uh, see the new DLC. <laughs> Neutral air in the full. a little bit. Ooh, good shadow bar. Are we going to see it? No? Okay. Good recovery as well from Pup A because if you did not hit it correctly, you would have bounced off the ledge. Oh, that was so deep. And that stock is a goner. Wadi definitely making a statement opening up game number five. 
Puppy trying to answer right back. He waits out the air dodge, doesn't get the up air though, so now it's just zoning with that back air. How do you actually get in? Dodging the forward smash is Wadi. And now this is where like Puppy seems to struggle. So when he wants to throw Razor Leaves, Wadi can just completely ignore it with that side B and then toss out a few Shadow Balls of his own. Does get the forward air, and then yeah, Wadi can't get out of that one. Does not have the fastest double jump, so he really has to air dodge, and then it's a 50-50. Is Puppy trying for an up air, or is he going for that up B instantly? Yeah, definitely a terrifying position to be in, especially when you're as light as Mewtwo. And in that floaty, weird little position. Gotta act fast. How do you land? Okay, side B stall a little bit. Does manage to work out. Good swap by Puppe. Comes down aggressively with that back air. Tro goes for a trump and actually pays for it with some damage and the loss of stage control. Neutral air trading again with Mewtwo's tail. But Wadi maintains stage control, continues this long edge trap, gets the tech situation, can't quite hit it. But what presence of mind to bail out of that side B? That up smash not going to do it quite yet. I got to imagine we we're going to see a side B from Wadi. Oh, Porto is going to just chuck him out of here. And all the work Wadi did, he got hit like twice, three times, and then that's it. And no raid, so the up, up throw is not even going to take it quite yet. And all that momentum leaving Wadi. Right now, it's all Pape as he's got full rage. Nope, he doesn't. <laughs> Down to the wire as it has happened time and time again today. Good Nair into the forward air. Good stuff. Still down by 6%. And it feels like well, Pape is pressing a little bit. We saw him like miss a, miss a couple dash grabs and then miss out a, with a couple of aerials. And now all of a sudden, Wadi's trying, threatening to seize control again. Gets the forward air, gets one up air, and then the up B. Is that going to do it? And it does. Puppe out of nowhere steals game five just when it looked like Wadi was getting up ahead of steam to seize control and reset the bracket. Puppe gets a three or four hit conversion to win the tournament. Puppe managing to defeat Wadi.